okay the next topic that we have is presupposition now uh, presupposition like what a speaker or writer assumes is true or known by a listener or reader can be described as presupposition now presupposition is actually something which is considered to be true or known to listener and this is actually supposed or assumed by the speaker or the writer right so uh, when a speaker is speaking or when a writer is writing he assumes that whatever he is talking about is actually known by the listener as well or uh, is known by the uh, reader as well or the leader uh, the, the reader or the the listener they they know whatever the the speaker or uh, writer they they are uh, writing about or talking about right so that is but but that is their assumption like the speaker speaks and he assumes that the listener knows right or the writer is writing and he he assumes that the the uh, uh, reader knows it so no, that is called presupposition like he presupposes that that the listener would know what i am talking about or he presupposes that whatever he is saying is true or would be considered true by the by the listener right okay when we use a, a referring expression we usually assume that our listener can recognize which referent is intended right now uh, in in previous lecture when we were talking about chomsky right so and we said that this chomsky uh, here chomsky doesn't mean the person or or the scholar rather it means a book by chomsky right so whenever you are using this word chomsky so you assume that your listener would would be able to understand that uh, this is not uh, the the scholar himself rather a book by him right so this is actually uh, whenever we are using uh, a reference we assume that our listener would be able to understand it or he he understands that right so that is uh, again called presupposition we design our linguistic message on the basis of large scale assumptions about what our listeners already know so uh, we don't go go into backgrounds or details of uh, of background rather we assume that our listener know so we we uh, start talking about something or we start writing about something and we assume that the listener or the reader knows what we are talking about so we we are not giving background uh, uh, knowledge or we are not giving ba uh, background of something rather the assumption is that the listener or the reader knows whatever we are uh, writing about or talking about right now uh, the the communication that takes place uh, uh, can say day, on daily basis now that is actually based largely on presupposition like whatever we we want to talk about or whatever we want to say or whatever we want to refer to now we don't go to the background uh information rather we assume that the speaker knows and we start talking about it right so uh, you, you just consider like how, how many times first you introduce all of those things which are to be part of your communication and then you you start uh, you, you talk about them no this never happens you never give introduction of everything first and then you you talk no this never happens rather you you start talking directly and you assume that your listener knows whatever you are saying and uh, uh, this can be clarified further clarified by uh, with the help of this example your brother is waiting outside now when we say your brother is waiting outside now the this sentence gives this message but here we presuppose that you have a brother right so presupposition is you have a brother who is waiting outside right now similarly uh, when we say why did you arrive late right why did you arrive late now this is a question and when i when i ask this question to you why did you arrive late now the presupposition is you arrived late right so the presupposition is you arrived late now the next is when did you stop smoking now there are two suppositions in this sentence number one that you used to smoke previously number two you have stopped smoking right now Uh, this question like i i don't ask you first that uh, did you used to smoke have you stopped smoking and then the third question uh, i'm asking uh, when did you stop smoking no this never happens i directly go to my question and i say when did you stop smoking 
right and there are two presuppositions which are present in this sentence itself like number one you used to smoke previously number two you stop smoking right okay now similarly the next example is okay mr buckingham how fast were you uh, going when you ran the red light right now uh, maybe this uh, is a question that is being asked to uh, to a person who has been charged with uh, breaking a signal right so uh, uh, in the in the court he is asked that how fast were you going when you uh, uh, ran the red light now the presupposition is that the person he ran the red light right now there can be a very tricky situ situation if the person says that i was going at a speed of 80 or 90 kilometers per hour so it means the presupposition that has been taken as true by by the person and he is uh, actually accepting the charge of breaking the signal right so he is fo actually focusing he 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 has been tricked to focus on speed not on the the charge that is of breaking the signal right but uh, like uh, if he is asked that how fast were you going when you ran the red light so he can also answer that i never ran the red light so it means that the presupposition which was there that he ran the red light actually he nullified it right but he focuses on the on the speed so it means the presupposition that that was there it is actually true that he ran the red light right so th this happens like in a lot of tv shows where we have interviews and maybe in courts etc where the presupposition is there and that presupposition can be taken as as true and the yeah, it would be uh, actually uh, a sort of playing the trick with with the person okay now uh, the same like uh, presupposition is being continued that we uh, here we have constancy under negation in presupposition like if the underlying presupposition remains true despite the fact that the two sentences have opposite meaning it is called the constancy under negation right like if uh, the sentence that changes or the meaning of sentence change but the presupposition that remains the same like it doesn't change we say it is constancy under negation now look at the the, the sentence that is below my car is a wreck now, my car is a wreck has a presupposition that i have a car right so i have a car then it is a wreck or whatever right but we, we never say i have a car and then my car is a wreck we say my car is a wreck and presupposition over here is i have a car then my car is not a wreck now if you look at the first sentence my car is a wreck now this second one that is my car is not a wreck is actually the negative version of the first sentence now the sentence has changed and its meaning have also changed but the presupposition that still remains the same i have a car right my car is not a wreck and its presupposition over here is i have a car similarly the previous sentence my car is a wreck again like the presupposition was i have a car now look at the sentences the sentences have changed like from my car is a wreck to my car is not a wreck but the presupposition that remained the same it didn't change so this is what we call constancy under negation like when uh, the presupposition that remains true despite the fact that the sentences have changed their meaning or have opposite meaning uh, uh, so this is constancy under negation now uh, if someone says i used to regret marrying him but i don't regret marrying him now now look at the sentence like i used to regret marrying him but i don't regret marrying him now then both of these i used to regret marrying him it means like the person is married to someone right but i don't regret marrying him now again the presupposition is the person is married to someone now the presupposition i married him that remains constant even though the verb regret changes from affirmative to negative right so constancy under negation means when a preposition remains true and same even when the sentence is changed from affirmative to negative or even when when the meaning of sentence change uh, to opposite and the pre presupposition that remains same we say that this is actually having constancy under negation